Hello and welcome to Unnanabo Best Cop Web. This is Saritra. So today we are going to learn about nested list elements. So what are these nested list elements? In short, I'd like to show you something regarding to this factor. Let's take a look on this. I mean about the structure of these nested list elements. If we open up this document in Microsoft Office, we'll see that this is what nested list element will be appearing as. So we see that inside a list element, another list element has been generated. And this can be never ending. In case of HTML, if you want to create another list inside HTML, then that can be arranged. Like suppose in this case, uh, HTML, you are using another bullet or this kind of format HTML such as table hmm, font header tags and lot of many things so as we can see here that inside the list element another list element is generated and that in turn is generating another list element into that particular list element so this is what we call nesting of list elements so this is what today we are going to generate in html and we are about to learn about it so let's start let's go straight into our project So, we are creating another table. Always keep in mind that uh, try to realign these things, these sort of things, this with this sort of different elements in uh, which is appearing in your HTML page. Uh, try to separate them table wise. Always, it is a good practice, good habit that you keep your contents inside a table and you align them as accordingly. So, I am creating another table. So here's the table that has been created. Then comes the tier as usual. And here comes the TD. Now, specify the attributes for this table such as the with thousand pigs, BG color. Mm. If you want a particular kind of BG color, then uh, as usual again, go to Photoshop. and select the color you want to have suppose we are choosing this one ok so just copy this code again copy ok provide a hashtag and paste it over here so we see now that the table has been created with this particular width thousand pigs and with a bg color uh, then align the table as usual in the center have a border here of one pigs now just get into this td column and start providing your content such as we are creating here the first element of this table, the web design part. So all we have to do here is first specify the root, the parent list elements. As we have, we are seeing here web design, uh, graphics, then video. So let's create first these uh, parent elements and then we will be concentrating on the inside lists according. So we are creating 
and ul first we have specified that a particular unordered list will be generated in case of the outside these parent elements then we are creating a list elements here is the list the first thing was web design so here it is copy this code then paste it over here just change these contents inside graphics and the third part is video so this is the web design this is graphics the and this is video this all of these things they, they are the parent elements here so they should be coming first and that is why we have created the parent elements first the main contents the main listed elements over here now we are about to create these inside lists such as this html html5 these are the parent element this is the parent element list element to this list so all we are about to do first first of all we now create the second order list here inside this web design content as we have to create another list as we have to generate another list here so all we have to do is to provide now this time we are providing what we are providing here a uh, an ordered list this is one two three four five six that's why we all we have to do is to produce an ordered list over here this is the ordered list so all we have to do now is to specify what we have introduced here html html5 css css3 the, those sort of things so now let's chuck it down over here copy this thing again so these are the things that you are about to create here php mysql <coughs> mysql then here comes the javascript and then goes the jquery so the second order list inside the parent element web design has now been generated so till this now let's press control s go to the project folder and let's take a look of the project inside the browser into the browser so let's take a look here uh, so here it is so far as we can see now that web design it is now coming under uh, it is now generating another list of html css html5 css3 etc so this is the thing that we have created this is the first order list and this is the uh, sibling list of this parent list and what is the name of this parent list web design so now we are creating another list inside this html document inside this html list element so all we have to do we have to get inside this html element again now we are creating another what unordered list here this is the unordered list and it is circle type 
so now we have to specify the type of this ul so this is the ul this is the unordered list that has been generated let's specify now the type which is circle Now uh, let's concentrate on this list elements uh, table font header tags suppose they are so there will be three list elements over here they are accordingly table fonts and the third one should be what the third one should be header tags so just reload the page and you see that another list has been generated inside this html list element so this is the parent list element to this sibling list element table fonts header tags so likewise if you want to now generate another uh, list inside this graphics and uh, inside this video accordingly then all you have to do what all, all you have to do is to now just specify as in this case this not over here not over here actually it should be placed inside this list element as uh, as the list has been generated inside graphics and it says that it contains the contents of photoshop illustrator corel draw all these are the list elements in under this main list element graphics so all we have to do we have to create another ol inside this graphics part where we are introducing these these list elements such as photoshop uh, then copy it paste it again and then uh, illustrator and you come here again corel draw likewise in this video segment all you have to do is to create another well over here you have to specify a well and we are placing here as premiere and after effect just press control s go to your web page now and reload the page and you see that the intended uh, structure of this list elements that means the this is the parent uh, parent list element this is the parent list list element here web design and inside this web design you are creating another list of html css html5 etc etc all these things they, they are the parent element in of this list which has been generated under web design this uh, parent list element now again you are creating another list inside the uh, uh, inside so again you are generating another list inside this parent list which is known as the html and likewise you can create another list over here another list over here another list over here so all these things these things can be manipulated and can be generated at any time all you have to do is to lock that particular list element and then you have to generate the required list inside that list element now before i end this tutorial all you have to do here so this is a statutory warning to you if you um, where is the list there goes the list now if you use this 
particular segment after this oil here if you use this particular list element after the list has been generated then what will be the output just have a closer look to this you see now that the H, that the parent element which were appearing before it has now gone below the list you have generated but this is not the intended thing you are actually carrying on we wanted to make this not making this that is why we what we did here we placed the web design word first and then we are play, generating this list after the, the web design word comes appears first and you can do many such things such as you may make this font bold you may make it a bold font you may make an underlined font or you may make it an italic one and uh, this thing you may create everywhere for the first order list you have generated here over here now just go to your internet browser and reload and you see that the font orientation uh, has now been changed this is a bold and italicized format this is a bold and italicized format so that's all for this list elements this is the basis of this uh, list element you can do many uh, good things with this you can reorient these things into many other shape many other formats using those uh, section or header tags using uh, table uh, font tags and you may use this uh, a tables uh, specifying it appearing into a, into a particular uh, side of this web page so that's all for today's tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to learn about uh, summing up of this whole lessons so far we have been taught here so until then goodbye